Hey guys, I was just asked to do a video on uh, staining metal with alcohol inks. This is kind of one of the finished results that I have. And here's another pretty little wing. Anyhow, so um, I wasn't going to do the fish, but since I was asked to make the video, I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. Okay, so first of all, these ones right here are Adira Adirondack alcohol inks, okay? They usually come in a three-pack. I think I picked these up from Michael's or something. I can't recall. But you can order them online. Excuse me. Anyhow, so if you're only going to do, if you're going to like blend your colors and everything, you're going to want this stuff right here. It's alcohol blending solution. So watch. All I'm going to do is basically just rubbing alcohol. All I'm going to do is just kind of douse it. Okay. Now, if you don't want it on your stones or anything, try and keep your alcohol links away from your stones. So, oops, sorry. No, you can't see. And then all I'm going to do is just douse these just wherever I want to because I can and watch the colors are all gonna blend and they're gonna make some really cool looking colors okay so you're gonna want to let this dry for a little while because the alcohol blending solution this stuff right here um, it's actually gonna evaporate leaving the alcohol behind and then the alcohol has to dry it doesn't take very long like maybe like five minutes and then what I like to do is blot it off um, or you could just leave it as is I, I suppose I'm not sure I've always just blotted it off um, anyhow, so uh, then when you're finished, it's this easy, okay? So like with this guy right here, as you can see, I just used a little bit of yellow, and I didn't let it sit very long. I just wanted it very light. And then I cleaned up the sides with a wheel, and then I also cleaned up the insides of the dollar of the sand dollar. Um, anyhow, so you can you can still clean it up. You can go ahead and rough some of it off. Same thing with the wing right here that I had done, but if, if you look, you can see in the stone where it kind of sank in where the stone set. So you kind of have to be careful of that if you have stones. I uh, found that out just now. Anyhow, so then you can take a fine polishing wheel and then go around the rest of it and then rub it along the very top and kind of give it more of a recessed look or just leave it like that, which I think I'm going to do with this little fishy. It's kind of cute. Anyhow, so that's, that's it on alcohol inks. I mean... You just kind of let it sit there. I'll show actually for this guy because I forgot to solder a veil. Let's do this. I'm just winging this video, by the way. I didn't plan it at all. Here we go. Now I'm going to have to redo it because I didn't add a veil. So another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes it'll stay in the back. So you, you may or may not want to clean it off. I didn't clean it off with the seahorse just because the colors were too pretty. So... Anyhow, and this is with uh, metal clay. You can do this with copper, brass, silver, sterling silver, fine silver. It doesn't friggin' matter. It's alcohol inks, and it will stain literally everything, okay? So do it on a surface that you don't really care too much about. Um, put a piece of plastic wrap down if you need to. Um, do it on a special tray. Uh, just make sure that you uh, use alcohol, like isopropyl alcohol. We'll get it off from your hands and off from most other surfaces as long as they're not porous like my desk. Um, so just whatever you do, make sure you're very careful what you get it on. And if you can, use that um, isopropyl alcohol to, to get it off. That is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have to redo it those same colors. Got to add a bale on it. Okay, so that's alcohol links, you guys. Carry on.